fantastic. It's always great to have you on the show. And I hate to start with something that was uh, just said, but you, hope, I don't know if you heard uh, Roman Harper sitting here yesterday commenting on, on your team. Uh, if you did hear that, uh, we would like to hear your reaction to it. Um, I just, uh, your, your people were so kind to play it as I was on waiting for you to jump back on after the commercial break. So that's the first I heard of it. I'm not, uh, I'm not worried about that. Uh, I understand that comes with it. Heck, I wasn't real pleased with certain facets of the game this past Saturday, but I certainly don't need anybody, uh, to motivate us to get prepared for Florida. Exactly what I would have said, Coach. Well, well done. Uh, <laughs> let, let me ask you, though, uh, before we get to the game, uh, and I know I, I did not hear all of what uh, your press conference was, uh, what, what was said earlier in the week, but fans want to know uh, who's going to play in the game and, and who will not, and I know that's something that uh, coaches sometimes keep close to the vest. How, what, what is the situation with the players that didn't play last week? Will they play this week? Yeah, I've been I, – I, I try to be very open and honest with that, Paul, when I know. Uh, I tell uh, the media, certainly here locally, and, um, and you know, I don't, I don't know right now, so therefore I can't say anything. And I, I, is, is, that a, is that something that it, there, there's still unknown uh, aspects of the situation, or is it in someone else's hands? Yeah, uh, it's – really something that I can't uh, comment on. I mean, there's layers to it. Let me just put it to you that way. Yes, it's, it's, uh, if I knew, if it was my decision, I wouldn't be him hawing around about it. But uh, that's really all I should say. It's just, uh, there's layers to it. It's, it's, uh, uh, there's layers to this, invest, you know, what's going on. And, uh, you know, I just have to let it play out. In, with, without knowing, uh, if I could ask you, uh, does it does it change anything in, in preparation? I, I know you have to get you have to be prepared for the game. Uh, do you prepare for the likelihood that you'll be missing players like you did last week? Uh, I have to prepare, you know, for the players that are available to me, and you know that's what I you know released when I released the depth chart. I release it with the players that are available to play at that particular time. I have no updates right now. And so uh, we just prepare to play the game the best we can, and uh, we'll be fine. Any, any, you know, any which way it is, injuries happen, things happen, and uh, I'm going to play with the players that are available. I know you certainly uh, Saturday, you, you know, you get ready, you do your game, uh, and and then you get a chance, hopefully, uh, to to keep up with what else is going on. By now, you've seen everything there is to see about Florida. So uh, let's let's hear your thoughts on on the Gators and 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 how they looked uh, as you get ready to go down there. Yeah, I mean, certainly uh, deserving of all the recognition and praise that they're getting uh, playing a very good team and and winning at home in their opener uh, gives them a lot of momentum. Obviously, they did some very good things to beat a top 10 team. And uh, you know, so they're, they're very good, led by their quarterback, Anthony Richardson. I don't think there's any doubt. He's an extremely good player, and uh, they, they're, they're a good team. Uh, you might as well just hit the repeat button, right, Paul, with myself and every other SEC <laughs> coach that gets on here. I mean, we're going to say the same thing. I mean, what, you know, very talented, nothing we haven't seen before. Uh, we have a very good quarterback ourselves, and really it's, you know, whether no matter who we're playing, it's about us and our preparation. I like where we're at, and uh, – uh, we're going to go down there and play well. Coach, uh, you've been and, and participated in a number of, of Florida games, and it's always uh, critically important to help establish what happens next. And uh, obviously uh, last year was no exception. It, uh, it helped you end up with one of the great seasons in, in Kentucky history. Uh, can, can too much be made out of something like this, or do you try to just keep your players – calm knowing uh, full well what is going on in and around the game no I think that yeah it's just about us this is one game it's early in the season um, we, we understand it's an important game but tell me one that's not and uh, you know that's our approach it's it's an SEC East opponent you know that we're going on the road so you better be ready to play but uh, we'll take them one game at a time and our players will be excited uh, that they, they uh, put things on film the, the they saw the good and the bad and uh, you know we'll, we'll try to 
continually work on the good things that we've done and the areas where we fell short, we better improve on in a hurry. With Coach Stoops here as the, the Cats get ready to take on uh, Florida Saturday night in the Swamp, Coach, I, I would like to talk about uh, your program because I, I know that you have worked so hard uh, to to elevate this program to to one of those programs around the country that that is taken so seriously and is regarded uh, among the very very best and and it's it still seems like uh, that comes into question and I'm not trying to drag you backwards but mm -hmm. is everything cleared up from what happened a few weeks ago with uh, others on your campus namely the basketball coach oh yeah I, that's that's old news that's all good I, I've commented on that. Uh, more than I'd like to, but uh, like I said, I've, we move on very, very quickly. Uh, you understand that, how, how thick your skin better be. And, uh, you know, it was addressed and we moved on very quickly. We, I got uh, really important things to, to do around here. Um, and it's, it's hard enough, believe me, uh, getting ready for the likes of Florida. So that's all my concentration is. We've been, you know, since we report back in in uh, in July, we're locked in this building and doing work, and that's where our focus and concentration is. I realize that, but but it, it never ends from a recruiting standpoint, and it never ends in terms of the perception of, of your program, which I do know you care deeply about. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That, that's that's accurate. Well, how, how do you feel about that, though? Because, it, it, I mean, it, whether, whether you're getting ready for the Florida game or not, uh, people are still talking about the University of Kentucky, and, and a great deal is at stake uh, every week uh, in terms of the perception of that school and, and what happens next. I can't control that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.